because that's what this business is about. Yes. And I'm here to learn from him. The moment I bring him up here, I'm going to be back there taking notes. And you can never be too big to do the small things. And, you know, you can tell a lot about a person based on what they say about others, yes? yes. yes. And, and this individual, he's always saying great things about people. Yes. I've, I've yes. met him several times. And, yes. and, and he's somebody who I consider uh, like a mentor. Because yes. I'm still new in the business. Yes. I'm eight months in the business. And so everyone that's been around longer than I have, I consider them a mentor. And so with that, I'd like to bring up no other than uh, my good friend, Woo! Mr. Stephen Richards. Woo! Some of you didn't get it. Here's all you have to do. 
Get out of the way. First and foremost, get out of your way. All those thoughts, I am not going to take you through the four steps again. What do you mean again? I've heard for a minute. No, that's all we've been talking about all day long. We've just been doing it in the form of a natural, casual conversation. Sharing the stories. Have we talked about being a product of the product yet? Yes. 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 If you drink coffee anyway, coffee or tea at least occasionally, if you brush your teeth occasionally, if you take a shower occasionally, <laughs> if you're doing these things anyway, and you appreciate our product and would rather get them wholesale instead of retail, just be a product of the product. And if you don't want to actively work the business because you can't go through the no's and the lies and the quitters and the haters, if you can't go that, everybody say, that's them coming, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But at least benefit from the products. So we have, we, we've talked about this already. Amazing leaders. And you have to have an emotional connection to the products. Emotional. We won't go through all of the stories. And we have some amazing ones in this room. Personal testimonies, testimonies of people that you care about are how this blessing, the treasures of the earth, are helping the people of the world. But they're helping people that you care about. So can you at least be a product of the product? It's okay. You don't want to chase your dreams. You don't want to provide your family. You don't want to do all those things. That's okay. It is okay. No serious. With no judgment. It's okay. But at least use the product. Because it's good. And you're going to do it anyway for the rest of your life. Can we, can we agree on that? You have a list. I love Mr. RJ and how he just broke it down. And everybody else. And, and everybody else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you're looking for the, you're targeting something because you're not looking for it, you will not find it, right. him or her. So you target it, you're going to talk to everyone, but you're looking for specific people and then everybody else. Because you never know. You never know who's going to do it, you never know who's not. You never know who's going to give up, you never know who's not. You never know. You never know who they know or who they know. So can you have a list? Yes? Yes. 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 Can you have a list? Can we have a list? I ask these two questions all the time. Do you believe and do you care? Now, do you believe? Now, if you don't believe, that's okay. Do you believe that this is real, that there's some money in this coffee thing? Yes. yes. Do you believe that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you believe that this industry, as Mr. Salon shared, is powerful, that's helping people, that there are people like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and Donald Trump and Robert Kiyosaki and Oprah and Greg Norman, all these people, Holton Bugs, Mr. Ramon Fulcher, that they see this as a productive, effective business model to take their product and services to the masses. You see that, right? Yes. So yes. It's real. You believe it's real? Yes. Do you believe that we're helping people? Yes. yes. No, I'm serious. Do you yes. believe that we're helping people? Yes. 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 And you have the ability to help everyone that you interact with. Everyone. Yes. Could be a part-time person working here who's going to school. Could be a pastor. Could be a professional. Could be, you can help anybody. If nothing less, than giving them a healthier brand of something they're consuming every single day anyway. So do you believe? Yes. 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 So the question is, do you care? Yes. yes. Why are you going to lie to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> because I don't listen to any word you say. I mean, I listen to it, and I feel it, but I, I, I believe in you, I just don't believe you. I believe your actions, because your actions are, are a lot louder than your, your words. Mm -hmm. So if you really believed in this and you truly cared about others, then you would share it with the world. That's right. Yeah, that's with right. zero emotional connection to what they decide to do. If they want to drink their whatever they're drinking that's doing whatever it's doing for the rest of their life, awesome. <laughs> but as my wife would share, say, how how dare you be selfish? She's a beast. She should want to do it. She gets a She's the, the force behind this voice. Yeah. Right, right there. Right. She's saying those people, not anybody in here, are being selfish by not sharing this blessing to the people of the world. Just share. Can you share? Can you share a free sample of coffee green tier hot chocolate? to a coffee green tea or hot chocolate drink. Mm. Can you share an opportunity? That's all this is, an opportunity. We're giving you an opportunity. Yeah. Something that people search their entire lives for and usually never find. And you have it here. 
right there for you? Can you share it and allow them to decide? Don't decide for them. Oh, they're too busy. Oh, they don't have any money. Oh, they tried this before. Oh, they haven't returned my calls. Okay, but at least give it an honest effort to share with zero. Everybody say zero. Zero. Emotional connection to what they decide to do. If you can do that, if you can just go through the numbers, everything you've ever desired is happening. Mm. I'm so happy and grateful for the amazing leaders we have. They've spoken today, and we're going to get ready out of the way for the real deal. Mm. These two people are going to come up. They're going to put, bring it all together. Nice little bow. <laughs> I'm so happy and grateful for my wife of almost 29 years. <laughs> Never complain, never. Even when words sound like it's not a complaint, she's bringing something to my attention. All right? Just 29 years of love and sacrifice and work bringing two beautiful children to this world, raising them, caring for her parents. I mean, if you want to know why I'm who I am, just look at my wife. I'm so happy for her. So happy for her. And that's why this is, this is a wrap. Okay? I am so happy and grateful for my parents who are in the room today. Many of you are meeting them for the very first time, even though you've known them as long as you know me. Because if you know me, you know my parents. Amen. Oh, I've, I've known you for a long time. You know, I, I know yourself. <laughs> it's all because of them. Yes. And you have no idea how they have impacted my life and so many others. And I know that I was prepared for this moment right now. That's right. Yes. All right, so I want you to close your eyes. I want you to take a deep breath. Deep breath, John. Deep breath. Everybody except the person who's doing my video thing. All right, another deep breath. I want you to imagine the perfect day of your life. And it's today, by the way. And you wake up when you want to wake up. Maybe it's early, maybe it's late. Maybe it's to an alarm clock, probably not. And when you wake up, you are fully rested. As you are fully rested every single day. And you have just an ease and a comfort and your dreams were all pleasant. And you wake up with a smile on your face and you look to your left or to your right, and you see the love of your life there. They're not wake up early to go to a job. They're just there, and they also have a smile on their face, and you just know that everything you've gone through, everything you've sacrificed through, everything you, you've grown through was worth it. And you wake up, and you, you have the, the breakfast that you want to have. Maybe you prepared it. Maybe somebody prepared it for you. Perfect, exactly how you wanted it. And you choose where you go every single day, where you shop every single day, what you eat every single day. It doesn't have to be glamorous. It doesn't have to be in your Lamborghini or your Bentley or your Rolls Royce. It doesn't have to be at the finest restaurants. It could be just not having to think about how much something costs before you decide where you're going to go. Mm. It may just be going to a restaurant and not looking at the prices before you decide what you're hungry for. It may be ordering an appetizer and a dessert because you want to as opposed to a, a pork, not doing it because, let's just say, you didn't decide to do it that time. <clears throat> every single day. Every single day. And if you want to hop to Las Vegas, if you want to go to Florida, if you want to hop over to, to Paris, you have the option of doing that. Your children are, have the education that you dream of. And generationally, they're taken care of. Every single member of your family is healthy and strong, mentally clear. Every single day is a perfect day. Every single day is a perfect yes. day. And yes. you're helping so many people who will allow you to help them follow in your footsteps and you know that it was all worth it. And that whatever you believe in, maybe it's sapphire, maybe it's ruby, maybe it's emerald, maybe it's diamond and beyond, that's what you've achieved. And you're celebrating that right now because you're happy and grateful every single day. Open your eyes. As my mentor, as my, as, as my, as my, my, I consider my sponsor, can you go there? Yes. Yes. Can you go there and stay there? Yes. Wow. Emotionally. Can you go there? 
Maybe I assisted you there for a minute just now. Me. Did I, did I help you a little bit go there? Yes. Just for yes. a minute, right? Some of you I've never met before. Can you go there emotionally and stay there long enough to do the work necessary to get it done? Yes. yes. And if you are, it's a wrap. Ten dollars, are you kidding me? I looked up how many people are in Sacramento, California, Stockton, California, Tracy, and Modesto, and Oakland, and all over San Jose, a million people. Are you kidding me? And we have barely the population of San Jose in our entire organization across 34 countries and growing. And some people saying, is it too late? <laughs> <laughs> Can you go there emotionally and stay there? My father accuses me of being the most positive person he's ever met. <laughs> Yes. Your future better than your past. Yes. yes. Then get out of there. Mrs. Slam said it. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying to yourself every single day? Outside the words, inside your mind, allowing it to the universe. What are you saying? What are you saying? Slide, what are you saying? What are you seeing? What are you feeling? Every single day, every single day, every single day. What are you saying? What are you? Just imagine if for whatever reason, maybe the clock runs out. Maybe. Just maybe. Because you're not in control, right? It's not you. It's right. right. It's, Whatever you believe in, it's not you. Maybe it's your, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the day. And you have to look back and say, did I give it my all? Not my best, what was necessary to provide for my family. Can you go there emotionally and stay there long enough? We're only looking for one, just one, just one. Only looking for one. And excuses will come, reasons will come. Short-term financial challenges, short-term financial challenges, health challenges for you and the people you care about, relationship challenges. Have I covered life? That's it. <laughs> Are you going to continue to use excuses or take those excuses and turn them into reasons to getting this done? Because all you have to do is give out free samples of coffee, connect people with the information, get out of the way, zero emotional connection, and grow through the process. That's it. Yep. Nothing's bigger, nothing's better, nothing's easier than this. Right now. Doesn't matter how long you've been in the business. Doesn't matter if you're officially in the business yet. This is it. This is it. And how many of you think, let's just say, I can put a few words together. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for a little while. No, none of you believe that I was shy. I'm still basically shy in a different situation. None of you believe that, but it was true. How many of you believe I'm confident? Yeah. How many of you had to go through some stuff? Yes. You, you see me where I am, but you didn't see me where I was. I'm going to share something with you very, very briefly. I wrote this to my, this is where I was in Organo Gold a few short years ago. That's right. This is where I was. I was in Sacramento, California. It was morning because I was coming to an event. I never miss an event. We're going to that right now because that's going to be covered later on. And I wrote this. I don't write stuff like this. I don't write poetry. It's my father. It's two, po two published books. I don't do that. And this came from somewhere. And I want you to understand where I was. Me, confident, successful, all this whatever, where I was. I call it Redemption Day. Dated it September 25th, 2010. To whom it may concern, I don't even know your name, even though you have been with me my entire life. For now, I will call you fear. I will call you uncertainty and doubt. I will call you procrastination, distraction, love, what does it say? Low expectations, <laughs> worry, impossibility, <laughs> failure, darkness, negativity, boogeyman. Whatever, whoever, why ever you are, I will call you into the light because yesterday was the last day that you will ever have control of my life. Come Yesterday on, was the last day that I will allow you to stand in my way, slow me down, hold me back from the greatness I was born to achieve. I yeah. know that you will strive to stay in my life mm. because you believe I am weak. You will come at me in different forms. Short-term financial hardship, negativity from all directions, health challenges for me and those whom I love. However, you will never again affect the way that I think, 
behavior field. Success, wealth, and happiness for me and those I touch are done. I declare this today, September 25th, 2010, my redemption day. Wow. Wow. events by myself, seeing zero weekly, zero weekly, zero weekly, zero weekly, nothing going on. After 10 months in this business, I wrote this, had a big enough why, the next month I went to Africa. Mm. Wow. Wow. I am so happy and grateful to have these two people in my life. Mm. They have no idea how much I look up to them, how much they've inspired me. A young lady named Veronica Garcia said no to Mr. Raul Luna. <laughs> Tried to kick him out of her office. Like, get out. I don't want to hear it. I'm busy. I'm successful. Who are you? Go. And he, he, he was persistent. Mm -hmm. And he got, he got the information. He got away. Connected with information. And in four months, she became a diamond. Wow. In Stockton, California. But they, have, they don't have money. In, oh, no. Stockton. <laughs> You can go diamond in four months and stop it. You can go diamond for you. Yeah. In Nairobi, Kenya, all over the world. Okay? So listen to this lady. Listen to her. Very successful in the insurance industry, done a whole bunch of other things, and inspiring millions of people already all over the world. Then you have the Roger Bannister of McDonald's Gold. The person who was in the room when the four steps were formulated. He was hand selected by Mr. Holton Buggs, the number one networker on the planet, to be part of the initial launch team on the first calls, the first meetings, the first events. Went to China with Mr. Chu and Mr. Moran. Because he's the person who said, it doesn't matter who sponsored me, it doesn't matter where they live, it doesn't matter if there hasn't been a single diamond outside of Houston, Texas. I'm going to get it done because once I do, they'll know that if I can do it, they can do it. Yeah. And as soon as he did, diamonds started pop, pop, popping all over North America and all over the world. Mm. He's the one who put this on his back. And while he was doing that, just the foreclosures, repossessions, and people dying, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, he had some stuff going on. But he did not use those as distractions or excuses. He used them as a reason for you. So all those applauses we've done before, all those claps, that was practice for what you're getting ready to do. These amazing oh, yeah. people, diamonds going blue diamond this organization. I want you to give a round of applause, stand to your feet, to Ms. Veronica Garcia.